Switching gears now, South Brunswick had fallen short in two close games this season, but things finally came together last Friday night in conference play. The Cougars are the fifth quarter team of the week. It was a rough start to conference play for the South Brunswick Cougars. They lost their first two games in the MEC by a combined six points. But last Friday night, things finally came together. South went on the road and beat Laney 28 to nothing. And even though they played sloppy at times, in the end, they overcame it for their first conference win. Well, it was good to see uh, a positive reaction to adversity and come out on the right end of it. So that was very encouraging. Uh, the losses, they gave us more fuel and we practice harder every day and it's paying off. And they will see if they can keep the train rolling this Friday night in their final home game. The Cougars will welcome in the Ashley Screaming Eagles to Southport. It'll be the second time the two teams have met this season. South Brunswick won 10 to six back on September 13th, but a lot has changed since then. The Cougars like their chances this time around as well, but know anything can happen any given night on the gridiron. Yeah, I think it's gonna help us because they still, they can still fix it up like fixing things around from what they did in the beginning of the season. So I think it's still going to be a tough challenge against them, but I think we can get it done. The first game we almost lost, so I feel like if we, we need to play better than we played that game because we could lose that game. With two weeks left to go in the regular season, there's still an opportunity for South to make the Class 3A state playoffs, but they'd have to win out the rest of the way. They'll push that to the back of their mind for now and focus squarely on the Screaming Eagles. Well, we have to focus on this game, and, and this one comes first, and... Uh, whatever happens, but nothing is a possibility unless uh, Friday night is a success. Knows it, and you have to love when you see a team that's had so many close losses finally put it all together and come out with the big win, and that was the South Brunswick Cougars last Friday night.